In this rather cardiology case, we have a patient who's developed with the role of stigmatism over time over the past few years wearing lenses. And we're going to try to adjust the lens to correct for that. This video is going to be pretty similar to the one previously made for this patient. The main difference is how we're going to measure sagittal depth or how much we're changing the lens. There's a different way to do it, which will give us slightly better results. Oftentimes in the past, when we went by the display in the window, we were making changes to the lens, but not to the degree that we needed to affect the change. So because we're inducing with the roll, what we're going to do is increase depth in the horizontal meridian and then decrease. Um, I take the back. We're going to decrease sag in the horizontal and increase sag in the vertical. So we're going to lift the lens away from the cornea in the horizontal meridian and get it a touch down a little bit sooner in the vertical. So we're going to do this in 50% mode. And what you want to do is hover over here where the lens touches down. And right now we're at 715. Let's aim for 12. And so that'll give us a new target of 703. That's 703. In the vertical meridian, we're going to make the lens a little bit taller. We're starting at 726, so we're going to end up at 738. The combined 12 and 12 change will give us 24 microns, which should be significant enough to affect the change in the post ray refraction. It's going to, looking at the tear layer graph, it looks like we're going to have a tremendous amount of clearance centrally, but uh, we won't. You know, but, uh, and this looks like the lens is not going to fit on the cornea at all, but uh, it will. It's just uh, the way that the graph shows, and uh, that should help the patient get rid of or mold out some of that cylinder that you're getting. So hopefully this is helpful. Best of luck with your patient.